So welcome to another one of our Emerald shipping videos. So this is a, an opportunity that we take every week to just have a look at the guitars that we've been finishing over the past week, look at where they're going to, some of the details on them, and it just gives you a great insight into what it is we do here on a daily basis. Uh, our guitars this week, they're going mostly out to the USA and one to Denmark and one to Canada. I also wanted to take a minute and just explain uh, to some customers some delays that we've been having. Uh, I know some of the guitars that were in shipping videos previously weren't leaving here and actually getting out the door to customers. So apologies for that. The main reason for that was a delay on a case order. Um, our case supplier has been having some problems and getting uh, certain components for them to supply to us and it's just an ongoing progression of uh, all the uh, the covid problems uh, thankfully we've got a, a delivery in last week and hopefully we're going to be able to stay uh, on top of case stock ongoing and other materials it's certainly a little bit of a challenge every day here but uh, we think we're on top of it all there was also a delay on mugs so i think there were some people who didn't get their emerald mug shipped along with their guitar but were shipped afterwards and uh, it's a vital part of the emerald experience to get that emerald mug for your uh, morning coffee um, but uh, rest assured um, if you didn't get one you will get it and uh, so uh, so that's what it is uh, that's what's going on and uh, let's jump in on uh, on the first guitar so the first one is going out to Igor in Colorado and uh, Igor has one of her X10s uh, this one's finished in our, our natural black carbon fiber and the X10 is our it's our kind of our transition in between acoustic and electric worlds. It's a, an acoustic guitar first and foremost, but it's been de designed with a, a really nice slim neck, uh, great ergonomics, great access up into the higher registers with the uh, extended neck access here, and, uh, and a great suite of uh, pickups. So this one's got our humbucker, it's got the six individual piezos, and it's also got uh, MIDI connectivity. So. Uh, really allows an awful lot of uh, creative opportunity um, to explore, explore a, a lot of sounds, right from acoustic into electric sounds. And with MIDI, then you can be playing piano or the trombone on it. So uh, that's always uh, quite interesting. And I think MIDI is one of those things that maybe can be a little bit misunderstood. And uh, some people think it's just a gimmick. And it can be if you were just having a guitar and all you had was just MIDI sounds, it can be, it can be a little bit gimmicky. But where it's really fantastic on the X10 is the fact that you can blend everything together. What I find really cool is, uh, is whenever you're starting from a standpoint of an acoustic instrument, so it's giving you that natural organic sound, and then you can layer in uh, some extra MIDI sounds, or maybe you know, adding some background tones, or if you're looping, or that sort of thing. So it just allows you to blend those things together, you know, so it, it can expand that sound rather than entirely being a synthetic sound. So I, I just love that that combination of elements. Uh, this one's got the, uh, the silver dot inlays on the fretboard here. And uh, as I say, it's uh, black carbon all around. I really like the black carbon with the new, uh, the black carbon bridge here. Um, just the, all the colors just really blend nicely together. The black ebony here on the, the Crevo humbucker and the black hardware. I just think that's a really elegant guitar. So next we've got Douglas in Massachusetts. This is an X20 and uh, this X20 is uh, finished in our amber. So it's the same black carbon, but with a transparent amber finish over the top. And uh, this one's got our LR Bags element pickup uh, with the volume and tone control here in the sound hole. And uh, amber back and sides. Then we've got uh, Travis in Idaho. I love Idaho, I spent a little bit of time in Idaho uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, just a fantastic place. Um, okay, so this is an X20 with Royal Ebony, and uh, that fantastic Royal Ebony veneer with these beautiful abstract patterns. Uh, this one has uh, our fully adjustable and intonatable bridge, and uh, that has got six individual piezo pickups in here, uh, going to a GraphTech preamp, and it's got a volume control in here, so, uh, Really nice discrete system, but still with an awful lot of adjustability. And those six individual pickups just give a really great string definition uh, from one string to the next, and, uh, and a really solid tone. Um, gone with the, the silver rings. 
So instead of the dots, like on that previous x uh, it's just nice rings and uh, done with that silver. And uh, black carbon back and sides. Now next is Thomason, Florida. Another part of the US that I'm very fond of. Um, and this one is an X20 with candy stripe Paduk. And uh, I always highlight the beautiful red colors in the, in the Paduk uh, with the, the lighter color here in the center. And I think this was a really great choice here. Um, this is our carbon fiber with, uh, with the red fiber woven into it. So it's a, just a little metallic thread that runs right through the carbon fiber. It doesn't really change any of the, the structural properties of the carbon in the slightest but just gives this little hint of red. Uh, it's, uh, it's very subtle and that's what I like. And I think that just that little hint of red just ties really, really nicely with the red colors in the Paduk on top here. And uh, this one has, uh, yeah, this one has the K and K system. So it's the blend pickup with the piezos and K and K and you've got two individual volume controls. So you can, uh, you can be all K and K uh, or you can be all piezo or a mix of the both. So a uh, really nice flexible system that way. You get your battery here and, uh, and a stereo output. Um, what's cool about this output is uh, it is stereo or mono. So you put a mono cable in there, everything will come out of the, the guitar summed together. Or you can put in a stereo cable and have that and split it and uh, process it differently external from the guitar. So just gives it a little bit of extra options that way. Then we've got Allen in Illinois. And uh, this is, I think this is Allen's uh, fifth nylon emerald. And um, so he's, he's really loving the emerald guitar, or the nylon guitars that we built. And uh, uh, yeah, it's for good reason. I, I really like the, the nylon guitars. Uh, they, they come out really well. Um, this one is a beautiful Clara Walnut. And uh, you can see it's got that uh, carbon bridge, the raw carbon bridge, I think. Really looks nice on top of the Clara Walnut. And this Clara Walnut has a beautiful flame running through it as well. And uh, really has quite a depth and movement to it. And then an amber back and sides. So that's a nice addition to Alan's collection. Alan, please send us a picture of them all together. That'll be really nice to see your full collection together. And, uh, and thanks for being such a, a great repeat customer. Now, talking about repeat customers, some people buy a number of guitars over a period of time. Some people buy them all in one go. So Rich in Illinois, uh, he's got four emeralds all in one go. So we'll, we'll look at them all together. Um, so there's a, first one is an X20. Uh, Candy Stripe Paduk, very similar to the one we previously looked at. Uh, all his guitars have the, the silver dots here. And it's the red carbon back and sides. And, uh, and no pickup on these. Uh, and I often say that, you know, we've, we've modified how we offer our guitars now through the 3D Builder. Um, so everything starts at a standpoint of no pickup. And then if you need a pickup, you can add it on afterwards. And uh, I think, you know, if you don't need a pickup, certainly consider not putting it in there at all. Um, I know a lot of our guitars, people always order the pickup, but may maybe never use it. Um, so I think there's a nice, uh, I'm happy to do it either way, let's say. Um, okay, second one for him is a, a 12 string. So uh, he's got an X2012 and X26. Uh, this one is in Cocobolo and, uh, and an amber back and sides. Emerald number three is a X30, our beautiful big jumbo. Uh, this one is a dark pile ferro. Uh, I particularly love this, uh, this piece. Uh, it's uh, something I had been keeping an eye on as it was coming through um, and right from when we purchased that piece of veneer. It's got these really unusual spots here. Almost looks like it's like been taken out and put back in. It's just really unusual and three-dimensional and uh, just this funny distortion in the, in the, uh, the grain pattern on both sides there. Just a really nice feature. And the last of his four is uh, a Coco Bolo X30. Really nice piece of Coco Bolo. Beautiful grain pattern. Some nice uh, knot detailing going on down here. 
this beautiful big um, stripe of light wood running down the center and then matched up on the headstock and then an amber back and sides. So that's a fantastic collection. Thanks Rich for, uh, for believing so much in what we do to buy four in one go. That's always uh, quite a treat and uh, I think you're gonna love those guitars. That's definitely a nice set of instruments. Then we've got one going to Denmark, going to Alessandro. And uh, Alessandro has gone for the X30, but with um, Koa. And uh, this is beautiful golden Koa with a, a really nice flame in it. There's a lot of movement, a lot of depth. And Koa, it just glows. Really, it looks like it's on fire. Um, this has been matched with uh, black carbon back and sides, which I think is a nice choice. Uh, we often go with the, with amber, but I think the the, uh, the Koa and black definitely works really well. Uh, creates a, a great contrast. And uh, this one's got the LR bags element system. Uh, so the, the X30 is uh, it's a fantastic big jumbo guitar. Gives a really big full sound. And this custom one is a, a great uh, example of, um, of getting that big, big sound because this one's a, an extended range baritone. So this is one of the last customs that we've been putting through. Uh, we've talked over the last few weeks of how we've, we've been having to uh, stop offering certain elements of, uh, of our customs. Um, but this one is quite a customized piece. Uh, X30 Baritone Fan Fret. Uh, can't off the top of my head remember exactly what the scale length is in this, but uh, I think it's probably about a, maybe 27 to 26, something like that. Um, I'd need to double check that, but uh, certainly it's baritone. It's, uh, it's got our full level three pickup system off the X10. Uh, it's, uh, it's got the humbucker, it's got the piezos and the midi uh, all on here. It's, uh, the, the veneer on top is Royal Ebony and it's been dyed purple, which is the first, it's the first time we've done that. Um, really great look. Very interesting look. And then we've matched it to a purple marble finish on the back and sides. Before you ask, no, it's not something we're offering. Uh, this is this was a, an order that's been in for quite a while and a special request for Lloyd. And um, so we, we completed that order, uh, but uh, we're not offering these uh, marble finishes at the moment. Um, cool and all as they are, but uh, definitely that marble just works so well with the uh, with the purple Royal Ebony top. So definitely a very, very cool guitar. So Lloyd, I'm looking forward to hearing your response. I know it's been a long time in the making and uh, I'm glad we finally got that guitar completed for you. Then the last one today is Kathleen in Florida. And uh, Kathleen has gone for our Chimera. It's black carbon Chimera with the carbon bridges. It's got the, uh, the dual pickup system, so it's uh, under saddle pickups under, under each neck and volume and tone controls here, mounted in the sound hole. And gold hardware. Uh, I actually really, really like the combination of the gold and black. I've uh, been designing some guitars recently for stock, and, uh, and I did design a few of them um, with gold hardware and black carbon. I think it's a really great combination. So, um, so that's the last one to finish today. A beautiful Chimera and a beautiful set of guitars. So there we are, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess could bring you up to speed with some of the other things that's going on. We're still in the midst of our, uh, our building project here, uh, working our way into our new factory space. I'm really, really excited about that and uh, we really need it. We're starting to burst at the seams in our current workspace. So we're gonna be about five times more workspace in the in the new area um, so we'll be able to just breathe and spread out a little bit more do things a little bit uh, a little bit easier I think in the new place so uh, so that's been exciting uh, lots of other cool things happening in the background um, working on some new marketing materials some new content that we're filming at the moment that's going to be coming out to you guys um, we're uh, hoping to have uh, some some live music over the summer as well that we're working towards so keep an eye on, certainly keep an eye on what we're doing and uh, be sure to, to subscribe, uh, connect and make sure that you see our content on a weekly basis. Uh, we love having you guys watch it 
and we love hearing your comments and being part of what we do here. So thanks for being part of the Emerald family and we'll see you again next week.